Hi, I'm Fabio Varesano. In this video I'll show you a little update about my free Moo project. Uh, if you're following my blog, I finally received the PCB a couple of days ago and I spent, spent the last days trying to have the board assembled and reflowing and so on. So I finally have the, something to show you and here you have it. The first thing I show you is FreeEMU version 0.1. This is the very first FreeEMU board I designed. And you can see that the quality of the PCB from the Dorkbot PDX it's uh, really really high it's very very good uh, it's very very professional really more professional than uh, for example Sparfan PCB you can see that everything here is smooth everything is very well done so this is Freemu version 0.1 it has uh, an ADXL 345 accelerometer, an ITG 3200, and a HMC 5843, and uh, all the various capacitors for using these uh, sensors. We also have here a Tantalum 10 microfarad capacitor, which basically helps to smooth the, the whole power of the of the PCB so that uh, you can safely connect uh, a motor to the same line to, to the same power line and uh, the sensors should work just as fine uh, you also can note the these jumpers this one and there is another one here these are used to um, uh, switch the addresses of the um, RXL 345 and the ITG 3200 and uh, well everything is working very good the other thing I'm gonna show you is uh, FreeMU version 0.2 which basically is, um, is the same as uh, version uh, one because in version one uh, I don't have any voltage regulator and I don't have any uh, logic level converter so basically in order to use this you have to use um, an A2C logic level converter and a voltage regulator instead in FreeMU version 0.2 I added I added this little this little guy here which is a voltage regulator which is capable of taking a voltage um, and uh, transform it into the 3.3 volts needed by the various sensor. We also have uh, all the various uh, capacitors needed by the voltage regulator and uh, that's it. The sensors are the same of the version uh, 0.1 but the great thing about this uh, board is that on the bottom you have a, an I2C uh, logic level converter so what does what it does is basically you you then you don't have to to use uh, anything else to to use your board basically you plug this into Arduino using the 5 volt I2C, I2C communication and you are ready to go with your project so because uh, here you see the logic level converter which has uh, two resistors here which are the pull up resistors for the 5 volt um, for the 5, 5 volt I2C communication and as well you see here the pull up resistor for the 
3.3 um, communication. So basically the idea is that uh, with FreeMU 0.2 you simply connect uh, this, uh, this board to Arduino and you are uh, ready to go. Thanks to the features I described you can simply connect uh, FreeMU version 0.2 directly into the Arduino. It's as simple as taking the as taking the 5 volt and driving it to the corresponding pin, the ground and the SDA and the SGL line. No pull up, no uh, voltage regulator, everything is uh, taking care is taken care inside the FreeMU version 0.2. So here you have uh, my usual example and as you can see everything is running smooth the the only difference between my my first my first video about the sensor fusion algorithm algorithm is that now free freemu and uh, arduino uh, run the A2C at 400 kilo, kilohertz so so probably everything is a bit smooth, smoother and there you have it everything is working pretty well So I want to show you another example of one of my prototypes which uses FreeMU. This is a first person uh, kind of um, kind of a game, you know, but as you can see I'm able of I'm able to move the the camera around the the graphics using FreeMU and this is basically something that I'm doing in my thesis see I'm moving up, I'm moving down I can spin around and everything is, is coming from FreeMU and that's it as you can see FreeMU version 0.2 looks that it's working pretty good. I'm still doing some tests. I'd like to try the to try to see how the the to see level signals looks inside an oscilloscope, which I don't have and I have to find one here. But I think that I can get a get one and uh, as soon as uh, I'll test it that the signals looks good I think that uh, everything will be good okay that's it uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned on my blog or on my youtube account for m more works on FreeMU and Arduino and uh, orientation sensing in general thanks for watching and goodbye